Hello, second grade. We are back again. In the next two days, we are just going to be spending a lot more time practicing the same work we did yesterday using an open number line or base 10 blocks or um, our um, partial differences to help us find um, an answer to a subtraction problem when we're subtracting two digit numbers, okay? So when we look at these three ways, we really want to be seeing where each part of our equation is and how we're making it easier to subtract. And as we get into more practice, we may find that some ways are more efficient than others, just like we did when we were learning with the math or with the addition late earlier and earlier in the last earlier in the year. We were looking at which ways are quicker and just as accurate in solving this work. So we're not spending a ton of time doing these and solving these problems. So we do our work today and tomorrow. Again, this is just an extra bit of practice. I am gonna keep showing our base 10 blocks today, but tomorrow I may take them off, we'll see, okay? As I see more of you here and at home using our number lines and using our partial, partial differences, we can take away a little bit of that support as we're thinking about um, our base 10 blocks. But please remember second grade, if you need those base 10 blocks, that is just fine. We want, sometimes we just need to have that visual, we need to have something in our hands to see and practice exchanging. Today our target, same as yesterday, I can subtract, right? We're taking away, we might be adding to subtract two, two digit numbers using place value. And I'm coming back to this idea Yesterday we said this yesterday, we're gonna check in and make sure that we're really using that place value today as well. Place value is how much each place is worth. So if I have three ten, thir 30, then I have a three in my tens place and a zero in my ones place. Well, my three is not worth three, it's worth what? 30. When we have our 16, is my one worth one? No, it's worth 10. My six, is it worth 10? Or is it worth six? Or is it worth 60? It's only worth six, because it's in that ones place. So we wanna make sure we remember, if it's in the tens place, it's worth, it's worth groups of 10, it's worth 10. And if it's in the ones place, it's worth one. We wanna make sure that we're keeping that in mind as we're doing our work today and every day as we're adding and subtracting these two digit numbers. All right, let's start us off with 30 take away 16 equals blank. Before we start solving this, what do you notice about those two numbers? 30 is the bigger number. What else do we notice about those two numbers? There's six ones here, and there's no ones there. Uh-oh. So what are we going to need to do? Show me how you might do that in your work. Whatever, your, whatever you choose to be your model, how would you show um, a way that we can take away those six ones since there are no ones in 30? How could we do that? And then put your thumbs in front of your tummies when you think you've got it. All right. Oh, my base 10 buddy right over here. How, what did you do? You drew 30 like this, 20. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Oh, interesting. Okay. Um, what about you over here? Ah, when you're writing your expanded form, you did 20 and 10. How are these two ways similar? We have our two tens, two tens. 10 ones, 10 ones. So now how will we take away 16 from that? Show me how you might solve that. How many tens are you gonna take away? How many ones? What will that look like with your equations? Ooh. All right, help me out over here. What am I gonna do first? I'm gonna take away a 10. Okay, and what am I gonna do? Three, four, five. 
taking away six ones. And why six ones? Because in 16, there are six ones. All right, and what is left over? Oh, if I have one ten, how many ones do I have? I have four ones, so what is my what is my difference? It is 14. Oh, wiggle waggles, if you agree. Okay, then let's take a peek at this one. Where did you do? Took away 10 and six, okay, and what did you have left? 20, take away 10 is 10, okay. You know six and four is 10, so 10 take away six is four, and 10 and four is a teen number, and that makes 14. Ah, regrouping at its finest, right? We are breaking apart a 10, making it into 10 ones. Sometimes it's helpful if we know that, just to draw it like this, or write it like this to begin with, than having to draw it and then cross off and take away. So looking at that ones place, can be super helpful with that. Let's take a peek at the next problem. 34 take away 11 equals blank. Show me how you might solve this. Show me how you might solve this. Where are you starting on that number line? Where are you going on your number line? Are you adding or subtracting? Mm. How much are you adding? How are you going to add that much? Because you're trying to stop at that number, okay? Okay, since we did these two ways up here, we're going to share two number lines on our next problem so we can see how this would look. All right, start us off. You started with 34, and what did you do? Okay, why did you jump back? How did you know how many to jump back? Because you were stopping at 11. Oh, well, when we were doing a number lines before, we did not do this way, did we? Okay, so what did you take away? All right, took away a big jump of 20. Why 20? because three tens take away two tens equals one ten. All right, and so you're at how much? 14, why did your ones place change? Because you're taking away zero ones. Okay, now what did you do? One, two, three, why? 14, 13, 12, 11. Alrighty, so if our problem is 34, take away 11 equals blank, what's our blank going to be? And how do you know it's going to be 23? Because you have your jump of 20 and your jump of 3 to take away 23 and you land on 11. So there's your unknown right there. So what equation did you write to match that work? 34, ha, ah, take away 23 equals 11. Interesting, interesting. Ooh, but somebody else added to get to that. So how did you add? Again, we're finding the difference, right? We're finding that space between the smaller number and the bigger number. This friend did something similar. Well, what did you, where did you start? You started 11. And we're jumping up to get to 34. Almost the exact same. Oh my. So what did you do? You jumped 20, but you added 20 and landed on what? 31. Okay. 1 plus 2 is 3, or 1 10 plus 2 10 is 3 tens. Okay. 1 1 plus 0 1s is still 1 1. Okay. And then what did you do? One plus three is four. So one and three is four, and your tens place stays the same because you're not adding any tens. What did your equation look like?
Okay, friends, so I want to take a close look at this because I'm telling you, whew, interpreting number lines is really tricky. The Both of these friends did what? They found the difference between 11 and 34. They both have 11 at the beginning. They both have 34 on this end. How do we know whether they added or subtracted? How do I know which equation to match with which work? It's such a little detail, isn't it? It's in the minus and the plus. Where we're starting and where we're stopping. The difference is even the same. So when you are drawing your number lines, make sure that you're recording the what you're doing. Okay, so if you're adding, make sure that you're putting your plus sign before your numbers. If you're subtracting, make sure you put your, your minus sign between those numbers. We've seen all these different strategies today in a snap, right? It's up to you what strategy you use to help you solve this. But I want you to remember that we're going to be focusing on that place value. How do we use our place value with these two problems? We knew that 30 could be 20 and 10. It's still 30. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Okay? Okay. We know that that value has not changed depending on where those where the where they are whether they're in tens or ones. We know that when we have our ten and four, it makes fourteen, and we saw that here perfectly, didn't we? There's one ten, four ones, which makes a two-digit number, which is fourteen. How do we use our place value to help us solve this? Very similar work, right? Yes. But we're adding our ones and then our tens. Adding our tens and then our, or taking away our tens and then our ones, or adding our tens and then our ones. And we're paying close attention to what, into what place is changing, right? So when we were adding, when we were taking away 20, only our tens place changed. Because we were only taking away at the tens. On this one, from 14 to 11, our ones place was the only place that changed because we were just taking away those ones and it wasn't changing the tens place at all. So when we're looking at the place value, we wanna make sure we know how much that place is worth, but then also what place is changing based on what I'm adding or subtracting. I want you to use that information to help you do then the exit ticket. And as we're having an exit ticket every single day, we need all the practice we can get. Use a model to solve, and that model could be anything we've been doing so far, to solve 82, take away 63, equals blank. 82, take away 63, equals blank. Go ahead, remember, decide whether you're going to have to decompose or, or regroup those numbers or um, decompose a number to make them easier to add or subtract. And I cannot wait to see your work tomorrow. And we'll have one more day of extra practice of this to get all warmed up and be subtracting even faster. You guys are on fire this week. Happy solving.